curtain headings, we've also got the curtain ring. Now I could keep adding these rings to my heading here. It's going to slide very nice, but maybe I don't like the look of how these actually appear. They're kind of becoming a focal point, and that's not what I want. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you a little trick. Let's turn it around so you can really see what I'm doing. Woo! I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to pinch it. Then I'm going to apply my ring. Let's get a few more of those going so you can really see how that's going to look overall. And what that's doing is by placing it farther down, you're not really going to see the ring as well from the outside. You're also going to get a nice uniform pleat. So now you can really see the difference of these guys who were just hanging all boring like and these guys who now have a nice pleat and they still open and close very nicely but you don't have to look at the hook. So with the same technique there's actually a few different ways you can do it. Go ahead and experiment and have some fun. But what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do three mini pleats and then hook it. And that's going to give me a whole different effect. So here I've done with three little pinch pleats, just having some fun, experimenting, trying different styles of grabbing that fabric. They're all very simple styles to try out with your basic curtain, hook, and ring. Grommets also make a great curtain heading. Similar to the curtain hooks, grommets do not require any sewing and they have a nice clean look to them. So what I've done here is I've already prepared a few of my grommets. I want to show you what I did and then I'm going to show you how I did it.